<laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> The man, the myth, the legend, Eric Holmquist. Good to be here. Eric Kumquat. What a what a collection. So that be always. We figure we film a little bit today. So that is uh, Jeff Weinkel is like a legend in the hobby. Sculptor, painter, artist. Jeff was uh, one of the people behind the Headhunters Quarterly, the famous. Wow, that's awesome. Fanzine back in the day. Uh, will you call it a fanzine? I guess this is a non-post mask. I love is that cool? It's a I non, love that. a non-post mask. I love that. Oh, so non-post and non-post. Exactly. You got it. So Jeff, we were at Mask Fest last year, which is coming up in uh, three weeks. <laughs> he goes. He was looking at my original, and he goes, "Man, I think I'm gonna sculpt one. I want. I've been thinking about it. It's killer. And within like two weeks, he had the sculpture done. That's and great, man. I go that. Well, it took me a lot longer. Great paint job. Yeah. Man, yes. really, really good stuff. He showed me, I think he showed me one he did at the time before he painted mine, and I told him how the old ones had the silver veins. I mm -hmm. said, I really want that because I never found the original. Yeah. So, yeah, we're in here just looking at masks. History. Beautiful history. Masks, masks, wow. and more masks. That is so awesome. Victim of love. Yeah, here's the victim. This yeah. is this, my friend. You probably will never see another. Distortions Unlimited, 1987. Um, very, very rare. I've come to find out that no one has really ever seen one, which Man. is nuts. And I, I never seen one ever. Darren Fowler, who is one of the top distortions guys in the world, yeah. never seen one. To think that they were making something like this and Eight. selling it, and I mean, on the last video, I I said like that's the first time I ever seen uh, something so gory yeah. as a prop yeah. of a human body ripped in half. Sure, you just did not see that as a kid. No, you said in the masks. No. These masks were in the ad as well, you know, and it it was just uh, an eye opener as a young man going. Those are different. Yeah, <laughs> those Halloween masks. Are a lot different. And then as a the, kid, you're going, they will these. be mine. Oh, yes. Someday. They will be mine. I had to wait decades, but I finally got them. So, yeah, man. It's Let's good wake to, him up. Let's wake him up. It, it's good to see you. Give him mouth to mouth. Uh, He's life size. Like, look how big he is. He's cute. totally life, life size. Yeah, that is. That's, that's the ele a, le a real 11. That's the real one that we were yeah. just talking about upstairs that yeah. you, you sold. That's the, that's the real deal. It's not foam filled, right? Not yet. I got it and really, Man. he wasn't bad when I got him, yeah. but I've been working on his shape a little bit, like the neck. He's almost ready to be foam filled. Oh, that's fucking cool, man. Just yeah. yeah. Like knowing the one that we had and then this is the original. There, this one looks so much fucking cooler. It's, it looks different, doesn't it? Yeah. It you looks could, like it should. You could tell that distinct nose design. Sure. And, and it, it's small, too. It's, it's a small mask. Yeah. The Tharps made those, those are, you know, the hair's all perfect. His yeah. hair was perfect. Now, did they, um, when these were for sale, the hands were for sale too? Or were they all the same down post hands? Like yeah, those it, would came have been with those? The, it would have been like the Malone hands, I believe. Okay. Not, wow. are those, yeah, those are the 70s hands, not the calendar hands up there. Um, the Jaws mask. Yeah, isn't that neat? They're, cool they're, too. There's so many projects I have to, like winter time, I'll be working all that shit again. Foam filling. Heat manipulation, you know, painting, yeah, stuff like so that. So that's the Frankenstein. Yeah, that's like yeah. the one I'm trying to yeah. buy from a gentleman who posted it in the group the other day. But yeah. people are cut blockers out there. Yes, people. His, his neck looks a little bit better than this one too on that. A yeah. little bit. However, what most people don't know, unless they talk to him behind the scenes, is the lower neck on his is brittle. It's hard. It has cracks. Uh -huh. It's intact. Ah. Uh -huh. And I go, listen, dude. I'm gonna offer very strong on it, really strong on this piece. Yeah. And I offered him quite a bit, like a lot. Mm -hmm. And I go, eh, there's only one more person out there that would offer him some stupid money on it, not knowing yeah. that it's, you shouldn't have to pay double of high, high retail, yeah. what it's worth. Yeah. But 
Is he, yeah, that's foam filled too, huh? That's foam filled. Yeah. Me and Dante did the work on that together. Yeah. But yeah, I, the, you know, what drives me nuts is I tell the guy publicly, I was the first person to like with you. You liked it. You text me. The first person to comment, like, hey, yeah. I'll offer you a lot. And I'm serious. Then another old school collector out there who probably isn't going to buy it has to tell them, well, you should put it on eBay instead. You'll get more. I like it. Really? Thanks for assisting me in buying another vintage piece. I mean, piece. We, we've all bought stuff on eBay. Oh, such but bullshit, at the same time, dude. I'd rather just, man, let me look at this guy's collection. Wow, look at this guy's collection. He should have it. Oh yeah. It's kind of uh, yeah. Up. It's it's it was so aggravating. And not not once he had to mention it twice in the comments. Dude, it's it's like when's the last time you were even here, man? Uh I think a year ago, um, when I brought when I brought uh, Igor right before you did the collector's call thing. That's right. It was right. It was the day before the shoot. And then I moved to Florida the next day. So you've been babysitting wait. Igor for a year now. That's right, Eric. Yes, I have. So I, that's crazy because now it's gonna finally air, like almost a year later. Oh, wow. they're telling me September, October, and I'm gonna be on another episode of Collector's oh, Call. You're the rock star, man. You're the rock. Star. You're the rock star. You gotta sign my arm before I leave. Which is fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What's the What's the deal on this guy? I don't think I talked about that on the channel yet. That was one of Frank's in the in the dusty bedroom photos. Uh -huh. um, it's an '82, which is really rare. Yeah. They're out there, uh -huh. but man, it was on the styrofoam head, which it's still on right now. Why were the eyes done it, like that? Was that Frank? It's fused on, on a head. It's all brittle from being on styrofoam. Yeah, falling apart. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think just the clear coat on one eye got like it's very bizarre how one uh -huh. turned brown. That's cool. Just because, I mean... It looks like this part it's popped up, too. It, it's intact, but, I mean, yeah. this is... It's like a potato chip. Sure. From styrofoam, you know? It exists, though. And for anybody to go, oh, yeah, well... So, the like I've said in the video, that there were several masks in there that weren't on styrofoam heads. They were on different types of stands, like tubes like metal tubes right, yeah like this guy was three masks down from that not on styrofoam he's he's soft he's be beautiful and they sat there at the same amount of time you know 40 years or so so it's like that's the result like you can't yes, yeah i mean that too on. same shelves Man. beautiful condition was on a metal tube any mask this was on a metal tube not styrofoam he's beautiful now this that is insane this which is still on its styrofoam head same room same shelves 40 years hard as a rock still stuck to the styrofoam head that i have to carefully operate to remove do you see do you see the pattern here yeah i yeah i don't have to tell you because put it in a bubble man don't do anything with it Let it's like you know it's just, well it's getting it's starting to get this right here and i want to prevent anything else from happening so I want to foam fill it yeah but it's like when I see 20 masks in a row that have been sitting in a room for literally 40 years or more untouched on styrofoam or tubes and all the ones on styrofoam are fucked yep. what, what does that tell you but Don't use styrofoam. but guys still want to argue with me and go oh, I've, I've been using it for 10 years I'm like yeah not long enough you this haven't wolf man was in there as well yeah that, that was fucking dracula is outstanding sick huh? man i actually sold the other prototype you had another one i sold bobby's to a friend of mine okay. the 83 so that lugosi that's super rare i had two of them one was bobby beeman's prototype i sold it to my friend joshua bright yep. josh bright not josh warren for a lot, I mean, I, he gave me what I paid for it, yeah. which was about what you would pay for one of these babies on a good day. Right. Hey, we had a death in the family, and I was raising money for right. my nephew's girlfriend. Yeah. You know, he passed away, and, she, and they Sorry, needed money. Man. You know, they needed money, so I'm like, sure. you, hey, you got to do what you got to do to help people. Yeah. So that's why I sold it. This is weird. This, this why is his hair? Oh, that's the that's the hands hair. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, he needs to be foam filled, and he needs the blood applied again. That's a super rare bloody werewolf. One on one of one. Right. 
Like, well, only one known. I okay, this mad doctor. What? Like, <laughs> so, Carlos. He looks like Carlos to Car me. Carlos kept telling me, like, He's it's cool. unreleased, unreleased mad doctor. Oh, I'm like, for like five years, I'm like, oh, mother, okay, unreleased. And I don't. I don't go home and go, wait a minute, well, let, me, let me do some homework. No, I just go, okay, I take people's word for shit. And it turns out it's it's a 67 Mad Doctor sculpt. Um, I don't know if it was retooled or what, but um, it's massive. It's so yeah. big. Yeah. I wonder if that came out of the reissue mold, maybe? Uh, that, I don't know, the reissue ones. But it was like a, a master pull where it's really nice. Yeah. Because the product, well, no, the product, the they're not this big. Like the nose is more pointier too. And they're not this big. Uh -uh. They're nowhere, uh -uh. no way are they that big. So uh -uh. I don't know. I that's don't know. That's very, very cool, man. I, Evil Wilhelm goes, no, it's not unreleased. He goes, that's the 67. I go, and yeah, now I see it. But Maybe it, pulled in the 80s? But it looks like a man from Greece. Is it a. <laughs> <laughs> Greek. You know, but uh, what does that say? It says, not for sale, you found. Tom Post Custom. Custom Mad Doctor. See, if Carlos would have just read that, I wouldn't wow. have called it unreleased all these years. Yeah. It's not unreleased. It's just the custom. The cushion, the cushion, the cushion. It's the, cool, the man. The cushion, the cushion. Boris Karloff, if he'd have been on Goodfellas. Or I'm something. here to take your mother to dinner. <laughs> He's cool. Though. He's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's very unique. And it's nice. And look, this one, though, is... That's the calendar. Paint on that. The pink is... That was... Now, that's not... Is this mold? That's age spots, okay. like, yeah, like deliberate detail and paint. I think Dante could have originally owned this and sent it to Rick uh, for paint, and then it ended up in Frank's hands. Got yeah. But Man, that, cool. that's the real. The eyes are fantastic on that. That's one. crazy. So those were just guides, I think, in the sculpt, uh -huh. and they were left in the in the mold, like in this when they oh. molded it. Because they didn't come without those games, would be yeah. cut out. But everyone who ever casted one of these up, absolutely kept those in and painted them like eyeballs. Those are awesome. Yeah, it would look bad. Right. It would look cool without them, like just black, you know, yes. as a mask. But yeah. that, to me, to my knowledge, is the only master pull casting I know of of a calendar mask out of a master. So, the only real, real, real calendar mask that you have is the Wolfman. Real deal calendar. So, like straight from six, that one. That. Yep. Uh, uh, mummy. Uh, no, that's sixty nine, not sixty six. Mummy. Okay. That's the mummy B, not the mummy A. Mm -hmm. Worth. Oh, calendar. Yes. That's a real deal. You know, sixty six, sixty seven. Well, sixty six, sixty seven. They painted them like that. At the time of the calendar. If you ordered or went and said, I want some Metal Mutant, you didn't get the big movie mold one that's in the photo with right. the pink and green. Yeah. They just photographed that one, but you would have got that. So that's And that that's, was the original paint scheme that they were selling them as too. Yeah. Wow. I mean that's that's as real as it gets, you know. Wow. Um wow. calendar. Yeah, like so now getting on the calendar discussion, these babies are both from the original calendar mold. Yeah. Um this one pulled in 83, this one pulled in like 92 from the Pat Newman. Right. One of the plaster production molds. That's not around anymore. The, right? I, someone probably has it, yeah. but it's shot. Like the details. Yeah. Um, you know, all that detailing in the cheeks. It's a little more prevalent in the 83 prototype, like the detailing than it is in this one. Yeah. I'm assuming some people may have castings out of that mold that knew of it or had friends at the factory. Yeah. But. Yeah. You don't see them. You no. don't fucking see them anywhere. No, that's... Uh, that's calendar, calendar. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is 70s. Like these mummies. The, the Wolfman are... Mum, uh, Wolfman B. That's a really... Like, that's a Wolfman B. That's like, what, 68? 69, Karloff. 69, yeah. That thing's beautiful yeah. and big. Yeah. Probably... Is that a Bobby? Yeah, that was Bobby's. That to me is one of my favorite masks in the entire room. What about the Klecostein? Oh yes, He's where back here? I saw, I saw. Where is the Top that? of his hair. Klecostein. That thing. Frankenstein. Franken. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. He's down there. He's down there. Yeah, with his. That's the fake one, right? With his vintage hair, 
well, you know, seam across the center of his head that was totally done in that era of, you know, 67, 68. Yeah. There's no, everything about it is old. Sure. The size, I mean. We don't have to even go into that again. Yeah, yeah you know. Mo, you know, most people with a brain in the hobby know that. And uh, right? Uh, right? Bob Morris got the smooth <laughs> version of that. <laughs> that was perfect. Yes. Yes. Bob got the smooth. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Which was so cool. And at the time, I'm like, I can't bet up both of these the right now. The smooth didn't have hair. That's right. It was yeah. it was bald. Yeah, I was sitting on... It was, it was bald. I was sitting on stage like five minutes before a gig, and I looked on eBay, and I'm like, oh, my God! Yeah, I think you sent it to me once. Yeah. You always send me cool shit. Well... You want to see something really rare um, that I haven't had time to mess with, but I have to manipulate them and fill them? Are these babies... These are the only the only set I've seen wow. that would match the white Timberwolf. You know, they're werewolf hands, the Malone werewolf hands. Oh yeah, yeah. That are just original with that mask. They were in the Don Post plastic bag. Wow. I've had the mask for years. Yeah. But I'm gonna. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I don't know. I'm getting some mustache. I'm going I'm, for a mustache ride. I'm gonna warm them up by the fireplace. Yeah. Be able to get my hands in them. They yeah. need to be foam filled. Hey, I'm getting a mustache ride. And, Leave them alone. <laughs> and uh, I want to display them with this head where they're upright. You know, just like all the other masks yeah. over there. Yeah. I I do not know if anybody has these hands like this. Honestly. They were in a freaking box in the closet of Frank's, you know, basement room. Now, let me ask you something. Uh, when people, okay, so if somebody bought a pair of old Malone Wolfman hands that were brown, do any people, like, dye the hair to match, like, anybody mm, doing that? I've never seen that done before, okay. you know. The hands from, from Don Post at the time in the 60s and 70s were pretty spectacular. Yeah. I've never seen anybody customize them, you know. Isn't she great? She's such a loving little cat. She's such a good little Old cat. mustache. Yeah, she's she's awesome. I remember when you first got here. When she was a tiny little baby. Yep. Popped out of her mom's. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Adriana was little at the time, sure. younger. And when she's watching the cats being born. God, I'm seeing pictures of her now. I'm like, what? The right? Like this she's big. When four, I first met you, she'll be like... fourteen in about two weeks. Oh, but she boy. goes. She's watching the babies being born. She goes. Well, that's weird. I thought that would have been more like uh, out of her belly button. <laughs> Who's there cracking up? <laughs> that is her belly button. We're Adrian. cracking up. Like, no, not really. <laughs> not exactly. You'll learn about it. That's funny, man. Oh, dude, this is just here's stunning. A, here's a beautiful 83 Karloff, like the one upstairs. Yes. I'm glad I got this that one. That looks bigger. I had it foam filled. That looks much bigger down here than that one upstairs. It may have a taller neck. I don't know. I mm -hmm. mean... That's a really nice copy, though. Yeah. I, I just kind of seen them drying up out there a little bit. Like, you're not, they're not popping up like they used to. Do you still have your wide scar? No, I sold that a long time you ago. You sold that to me. Oh, I yeah. I don't know if you got another one. No, no, no. I sold it to, um, I forget somebody. I know Sal didn't buy it. I forget who bought it from me. Because he, he posted one recently. Yeah. Um, um, Darren, uh, Darren Williams. Um, Good guy from Spokane. Actually, I was able to meet him. You met him, right? He came out to our show, yeah. How, he, how is Williams in person? Super good guy. Love Darren. Got a cool monster uh, sleeve tat. He's not a dick? Uh, no, no. Well, no. no <laughs> he's no. he's, he's going to watch no. this and go, what? Darren rocks, man. No, I like Darren a lot. Yeah. I never met him yet. Yeah. You know? uh, he reached out. He's interested in some of my stuff, too. Oh, I bet. Um, he's, he's a good buyer. Yeah. Darren Williams. If you're ever going to do a, a deal with Darren Williams, have no fear. Williams is here. He's he, he's yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a legit buyer and uh, doesn't dick you around. Whoa. Yeah, isn't this crazy, dude? Man, it's kind of just the head's kind of just sitting on there. Um, hold on. See. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to fix up. Does it have arms? Mm, technically, it kind of does. At the time he sold this at House of Horrors, he made these really weird werewolf arms with like three fingers. They're really strange. And they are there. Like, I have to just bring them home. Is this uh, uh, Distortion? House of Horror Studios. Oh, House Joe of Reader. Oh, Joe yeah. Reader. It kind of uh, reminds me a little bit of, like, the howling meets... Yeah. Uh, almost like Michael Jackson's thriller in that, a way. That era of Wolfman were yeah. some of the best. Yeah. Yeah. I told you. 
I, I tell people like that whole era of 70s and 80s wolf like 80s early 80s wolf men were just badass it's just the eyes in this thing is scaring the shit out of me so he offered this in a sales flyer like a color xerox thing he would mail out and he would offer them in gray or brown and dante knew joe well and he said that's the only brown one joe made his ranks wow so it's i'm gonna pull this off here what year oh god 83 wow. 83 but look at that chest piece i was one <laughs> wow he looks like he's pregnant on i know too. i stuffed it oh yeah 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 and it kind of clipped the shirt in the back just to keep it up on the torso better i want to uh foam fill the head you know just another one of my many foam fill projects coming up he'd be a cool life size like that well that's funny frank had this on a mannequin yeah with that with the arms wearing a weird trench coat <laughs> and he had these uh you know the the slippers that look like wolfman feet yeah. he had those on the feet <laughs> and it was so funny and it was always in the corner of his collection room for years and his brother and i you know i'd laugh i go this really isn't what he would look like but yeah. but frank put this character together and it was kind of sad taking him apart because it probably sat there sure. since the freaking 80s you know wow. the the trench coat the the wool trench coat he was wearing was uh from um uh Morris costumes. Mm. It was a Morris costumes coat, overcoat. Oh. So he got that from Jim Lawrence. Wow. And he, this thing too, man. That's the number one werewolf in this room. That is um, scary. Of course, the, like the rare shit is amazing, but this thing's over the top. That is impressive, man. And that's the original Alvarez. You know, predates Jeff's Bad Moon. Uh, I think a lot of work went into this, possibly by David Lady and Laura Lady. I really need to talk to them because David was the one offering these in the beginning um, for, for people to buy. I have the freaking thing. Let's see. I think it's over here somewhere. Hang on. It's incredible. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so check this out. When David offered these, I mean, they were they looked spectacular. You know, and he would send these cards out to people in the mail. I'm pretty sure this is how Frank got that one. And I really want to talk to David. That's why I really want to talk to David about a lot of pieces. So are the hands individual? Yeah. Oh. oh. I've got them. I built a I built a metal base with like spikes. Yeah, yeah. They're foam, so I kind of push the foam over the spikes. Yeah. And they're kind of just. I got wire ties. So they're propped up. behind his head so they're propped up until i could do a oh, better yeah, you can see, yeah, right yeah. Oh, yeah i want to do a better stand Good idea. later but it works that you know great it works and they're just kind of in suspension that thing just, looks yeah flipping cool man so that thing brand new at the time guys was 450 dollars. so gleaming yellow eyes hand inserted or punched in hair yeah, four fifty, and then the hands were one hundred twenty-five a pair. It's a lot of money. So five seventy-five. You know, I've had a lot of people want to buy this. That's so this cool. Sucker on the back. Order this edition, please. He don't live there anymore, guys. That's his old West Hollywood address. He is now in sunny Ohio. <clears throat> um, but I've I've ta I've had some crazy offers on him. That's a big thing more than too. that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that's one of the best ones you'll ever see. 100%. Um, bad, the Bad Moon ones, you know, Jeff Death made them later. Yeah. And so did Distortions. And they're cool, but this, they didn't look as realistic as this one. I like that you movie. Know, you know what I mean? I really actually thought the movie was okay, to tell you the truth. Which one? Bad Moon. Oh, the film? Mm hmm That Jeff titled his mask Bad Moon. Yeah. And... That movie Bad Moon with the dude and wolf, werewolf. It's a cool movie. Look at this crazy thing. That's an old Jordu shell. After a nice night of spitting tobacco. <laughs> Look at that mouth. Jordu is like, that's <laughs> terrible. I go, I don't care. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> why the long face? Yeah, why the long face? So uh, much, so much. And the Halloween Society stuff. There's so many great things. Uh, so guy, what, which uh, is the Potoko? Neither. Or ha Daniel Horn? Nope. Those Both are, of those, those are Halloween are, Society? Those are all Halloween Society. Those are the same one? So, yes, and here's the story. Um, wow. The story goes, Paul Clemens, who hide the London After Midnight, 
he sculpted it and it looked like this. This was Paul's original prototype. Wow. It's a half mask. When they casted them for the Halloween Society, something happened with the mold and they started all coming out distorted in a way. Um, they, the details were different. You could tell it's the same, yeah. same sculpture, but something happened and they were looking a lot different. Oh. So, I actually like this one better. Well, yeah, that's his, that's his highly detailed prototype. Wow. I bought straight from Paul Clemens, you know. Insane. The guy that owned this at one time is trying to buy it back. I don't know if he's still going to. Um, if he doesn't, he's I don't care too. because it'll stay here then, you know. Now you got to find that Halloween Society Wolfman. Yeah. There was a guy that had one trying to sell to some people not too long ago for a... Ten grand is what somebody offered me. Twelve. It was twelve before that. Oh, oh. And it's got stress cracking and it's like not in the best shape but that that's that's yeah, i don't care how rare it is dino reached out a couple years ago said he knew somebody that was selling one yep. and it was it was okay it was offered to dino yeah he has one i don't know if he's got the wolf man he might i think he's got them all now i can't remember at the moment though back there is something very rare the 60s mole man hands the first first the original 60s mole man yeah hands. that's wow. the first the first style hands Don Post ever put out. Wow, they're huge. They're massive, massive, massive hands. I did a video on those a long time ago. Here's the 70s versions, you know. Yeah. I think each version um, originated from movie molds. How much bigger they, are those hands than those? They had to sculpt one of them, but they had one movie mold or something. Like, uh, I don't know, they're, they're close. Those look the, these are nice and long with the long nails. Yeah. I think you see both styles in the film. From what I remember, oh. but I'll, I'll pull them out here. Hold the camera. There you go, my boy. Let's see. Well, this is also a Paul Clemens uh, sculpt for Halloween Society. Look at Paul Day Clemens, '88. This was uh, in Frank's collection, just up on a shelf, full of full of grime and dirt and mold. So I uh, here we'll pull, pull one of them out. Yeah, these. These are the real ones. Wow! What well, your thing? Whatever happened? It just goes black. That's these are the ones seen on the Rubber Room site. Like it'll say like uh, property of the Frankenstein under the picture. These wow. are them. Wow! And they're fucking big, dude. Put your hand out. You know, I don't have the biggest hands in the world. My hands are small. You know what they say. <laughs> but anyway, we're small gloves. Yeah, right. <laughs> but they're they're big. You know, yeah. can you imagine like. Yeah, right. <laughs> like a bear. <laughs> Swap some kid's face off. So cool, you know. That's a beautiful original mask, original hands there. That was Bobby's. Wow. I had another casting, which I believe was 60s calendar era. You know, the, the 60s and 70s, between a 67 and a 71 or whatever, they're going to look exactly the same. I don't think there's any difference in the detailing on the mole man, the mole people, but pretty cool i love coming to this place and that's the stuff i i worried about so much um when when things happened with frank you know <clears throat> i was so worried like what what's gonna happen all this stuff you know if something happens to his brother and yeah he and i talked extensively about the fate of that collection you know we're still going through stuff i remember when you kind of first went out there god I saw that yeah. the video that you brought back was just like oh it, my god yeah. oh my god you got to see that stuff before anybody yeah it's just it was amazing that it still existed crazy man and it will exist now for many many more years i'm trying to you know catalog the stuff and teach the world about the stuff that most people have never seen that was in that collection of his and yeah. at least now someday people will be able to use my videos or photos and say okay that's that from that collection and you know it is history when we're all gone you know, you know people may not give a shit about this stuff but at least they'll be able to look it up and figure out what they are hey did you did i see that that's you rare. saw somebody who had a magic castle dracula a real the real one no oh for sale yeah yeah um I wonder, oh, Carlos was selling his. Ah. 
his Magic Castle. This is mine painted like the original Magic Castle dummy. There was a Dracula dummy in the Magic Castle. And uh, I made my copy from that mold. So cool. Look like the real dummy. Awesome. Is that an original picture? You stupid dummy, it's a postcard. Ah. And uh, so Carlos was selling his painted by um, my friend Todd, who amaz amazing artist, Laughing Ghost Studio. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and I'm telling all these people it's for sale. And then he's like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to sell it. I go, well, you got guys wanting to buy it. Like, quit the, Carlos just has these sporadic, you know, episodes, we'll call them. Oh, I don't, I shouldn't sell it now. Oh, really? Because the guy's ready to PayPal you after I've been talking with 14 text messages about selling your stuff. Um, so I, I'm like, I'll, hey. I'll trade you, Carlos. I'll trade you Igor for your, uh, <laughs> I'll trade you Igor for him, Carlos. Come on. We do deal now. Yeah. yeah. We do hey, deal. Where is he at? Let's get the man. Where, where'd I put him? He's out on the, uh, oh, on the let's make a message for Carlos. Oh. Trade you, Carlos. Come on. So, Carlos, you make the deal. You trade me for the boy in the back. You bring uh, money and the casting, and you take me on for your pleasure. <laughs> and you think people in the mask world are weird. We're not weird. We're we strange. Weird. Maybe we were born this way. Right, Carol? <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's a great piece. Um, I like them. The eyes are like, yeah, the blue. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but he's got these bright blue eyes that just pop. Wonderful TP. Oh, yeah. Mm. It was the same dentist I do. Um, let me fix the lighting in here. There we go. Dude, it's just insane, man. It's like when you get too much this stuff. It's just insane. It was insane when I first came here. The collection? 10 years ago or whatever. Yeah, it's over the top now, man. I tell people, like, Right now is the peak of the collection. It's yeah. had its moments where it's been different, but I mean, but you have a you the, have a variety of yeah. everything from the classics to the newer David Lady to stuff, the middle to I mean, down post distortions, all of it. It's just the amount it's of so inspiring. The amount of rare stuff in here and the amount of unique stuff is crazy, yeah. like crazy. I, I'm not. I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you. Yeah, you're every no, brag. no. Yeah, I'm, you are. Man, it's because of Frank. You know, because of Frank's collection merging with yeah. this, it has become insane here. You know, it's always been a great collection, but that's my paint master that was on the mannequin. Oh yeah. Well, well where's the mannequin? It's up on the top floor of the house. Just I don't know. Dude, I, he's so cool too. Yeah, I'm gonna be selling life size figures, guys. Yes. Probably not that one, but my Karas, but um, some of these life-size figures, not her, <laughs> they gotta go. Some of the ones out here, well, I'll take the prop, I'll take the victim. Not him! Me. I'll take the victim. No, you will not, Eric. How are you gonna display him? I'm gonna build, so that's what everyone's asking. So he's awkward shaped. I'm gonna make a wooden base with like posts coming up where they're almost like little armrests mm -hmm. padded. So I can like just set him down in the you know, and he'll just stay upright. Wow! You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Dude, this is a, this is insane. We put him like, upright. Hold on. This is insane that it somebody built that and painted it like this. That's that's somebody. It was Mr. Ed Edmonds. We can lean him against the the door. He'll 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 stay up. I had him up there before you got here. There we go. Putting this on your stairs. I will. Let me put the light on him again. Whoosh. Um. Yeah, dude. I mean, I want to build it where he's going to be an upright torso. They used to hang him from his neck from a rope. I That's why, that. you know, so it, it looks amazing. Yeah. But I, he's old now. He's still in amazing shape, like flexible. But I don't want to put all that stress on his neck, so eventually it'll... Rip or... Yeah. It wasn't made to hang like that for 35 years or whatever. I can't do math, but since 1987, what was the... What was that? Ten, uh, ten, year, ten years ago? 87? That was six years ago. <laughs> 87 was 27 years ago. Oh, boy. 37 years ago. Sorry. Hold on. My, my... Huh. That is flipping cool. Yes, man. Eric. This is cool. Wow. That's, so Look that's... at this big, veiny, triumphant bastard. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's got some... Uh, wow. Very wiener-like That is veins. just... Um, 
that is. I don't know what to say. That is the crazy movie Geek Maggot Bingo. Ed damn. Ed French. Um, that is the Death Studios version, though. I'm dying to find the original Ed French mask. It's very similar, but that is that is fantastic. Yeah, it's that pretty is wild. Great. For the longest time, you did not see any. I found two of them recently. One went to Dino, and then um, a couple have popped up, but not many. That's a weird, weird. That's cool mask. shit too. Yeah, I need to do a a video just on that mask. The guy sculpted stuff for Jurassic Park that did this in '85. He sculpted that. He passed away. But wow. Doesn't it look to me? It looks. It, it, doesn't it look, it, it to me? Like, it's like I look back and to me it looks like the a little bit like the cowardly lion from the Wizard of Oz. Guess who that? Roof. <laughs> guess who that reminds me of? It looks like Elon Musk. <laughs> 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 <It does. laughs> Us again? Well, let me see. Let's get to talk about that one more time. So these two pieces are so rare and can bring a lot of money on their own but the one thing between i need to do, do a video on them by themselves those are matched serial numbers they're both number 27 and i don't think anybody out there has a matched pair so i would never sell them individually if i ever did but yeah it, it's crazy uh mask fest i will be there but i will not be um set up this year with a display but I got some cool news that I'm thinking about, about for next year, which I will tell you guys in a minute. Yeah, Eric offered me a killer spot for Mask Fest, and I could I go so do I, I said I'm so busy. There's no way I can build a display. That beautiful display I did for last year, I destroyed it all. I burned it. Really? Yeah. Oh. I had nowhere possible to keep it. It was huge. It was a three-piece unit, but I can easily build another one. But. I'm thinking next year, I told Eric this, I don't... I'm, I'm going to sell your whole collection at Mass It's all for sale! <laughs> I, um, so I want to do a display next year, if Eric will give me the spot we were talking about, because it's got really good security. Yeah. It has a lock, a key, a locking room right, right behind the display where I can put all the shit in and lock it. You know, nice. lock it up. Anyway, I'm thinking of doing a Frankenstein display next year at mask fest boy that'd be incredible because everybody needs to see this frank stuff. has stuff you guys haven't seen yet that are big big amazing pieces and um but what i'm thinking of is doing a vintage display with frank's stuff yeah. and uh what a lot of people don't know is his main collection room was literally wood paneling like a 80s late 70s early 80s wood paneling room i want to do a display that looks like that all wood paneling Make yeah, it look some shag carpet down there, it, dude. I'm not kidding. Make it look like a vintage '70s, early '80s room. Maybe some old post speakers, turntable. I'm, maybe. Not, I'm, I'm thinking of going all out. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Very cool. Um, I've told people verbally about this, so if it leaks out, there's other people that are gonna jump on the bandwagon and try to steal my idea. I'm I'm putting it on video now, so. That's my plans for only one Frankenstein man. for next year's show. I want to do a vintage display of some kind. Me talking about it will make sure I do it. You know what I mean? It's like sometimes I'll come up with ideas I never do, but when I tell the whole world or a small part of the world, then I go, I better do it because I told everybody. Yeah. You know, so that's all. Put up or shut up, man. So that's you know, I think it's a great idea, and Eric. He thought yeah. it was a great idea too. I, it's it's too much cool stuff down here, man. It all needs to be shown. Some of the stuff at the last show was Frank's. It's, a lot of it was mine, but I would love to do something dedicated to him, and uh, have a, a sign made the Frankenstein. You know. Yeah. See if you can uh, bring a, a TV and show the old videos of you at his house. Oh, well, that would be cool. In time. Yeah. In time, that I'm going to put the big video out. And you'll get to see that, Frank's collection. That's a tribute to him, man. He'd be so happy with this stuff now. Totally. A lot of people thought like, oh, he's just going after his masks. No, and they no. talk sh people have talked so much shit about me and Frank. You were his friend first. Like, no, I want to honor him and honor his collection. And his brother knows that. Like, It's funny when people don't know anything and then they make up stuff about someone. And they don't know the real details and all the talks I've had with his brother and even Frank. Uh, the things Frank and I talked about that no one would ever know. People come up with their own scenarios. There was a lady in the hobby <laughs> that was going around telling people, Rudy is telling everyone 
Rudy's going around telling everyone he can't wait until Frank passes away so uh, he can get his masks. Horrible stuff about Frank and I. Yeah. And I said, I sent her an email. I go, one more word out of your mouth, I'll see you in a courtroom. Well, and as you can see, you know, pure jealousy. Obviously, Frank wanted you to have it. You have it now. Pure it's fucking yours. pure jealousy. Yeah. Like, why? I, I'm not friends with Frank. I'm not gonna get his stuff. So I'm gonna talk shit about the guy that you know is friends with him. Dude, that's flipping cool, man. isn't it? Though, it's like, dude, it's, it's like crazy. a helmet. Man, it's a. Uh, it's. I don't know how to describe that. Dude. It was pretty moldy in the last days of of you know. Eighty of the collections. Or eighty five. Wow. Trickage. I think it's trickage. Uh, I think it's T R C I C. That's his yeah. last name, Mike. But like, I, I need to do a video on him and talk about him and his talents. And he was really into dinosaurs and lizards, obviously, because yeah. he went on to sculpt shit for Jurassic Park, you know, which is amazing. So it's definitely, weird. It's, uh... I'm not, I'm not done talking about this artist. You know, that's what I'm saying. I, I need to honor him somehow and talk about him because. He's no longer here, and uh, so he, it's crazy, he was, he has, uh, he did stuff for Return of the Living Dead, mm -hmm. I think some of the special effects, and he played the zombie laying on the, the lab table. Oh, really? With, I think, did he have a head, or no head, I can't remember, but yeah, the one that was laying on the table, and I think got up and ran around, maybe. I'm trying, I'm mixing up movies in my head right now, but yeah, he played the part of it, but also did special effects on the film yeah it, it I mean, kind of looked like elon <laughs> i mean just fantastic Rah. crazy the the mutant it kind of looks like the creature from <clears throat> in the monster squad a little bit yeah exactly it's it's yeah. that era that mid 80s yeah. look so cool so flipping cool yeah there's some great stuff on these shelves dude that i never in my life thought i would own you know I mean, so many stuff on here, I don't even know what it is, but and, it's just like, or, whoa. Or I never thought I'd even see in person some of the stuff in here, you know, and Frank wow. had it all. I've said this wow. before that the David Lady book may as well have been a handbook to the Frankenstein. Yeah. So many pieces in David's book were in that in that collection. It's 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 wild. Speechless, man. Just speechless. I know. Every time I've been I come here, it's just like damn. I've, I've been wanting you to get here to see stuff because it's been so long, and then the collection is definitely. Every time I come, dude, it's just it gets more amazing every time. That's the seventies Malone ones. Yep. That's wow. the Malone hands and the Malone. Yeah. I think '69 is when he sculpted it. Okay. You know, late '60s. That's that's original they, paint. They wanted the B line done because the, all the A masks were very small. Right. Um, the A mask came directly f casted from the Universal mold, which is that right there. That my, and then that's a real deal casting from the Universal mold. Wow. For the creature A. And then what is this guy then? That is another creature B that is just. A beautiful old pole. These are the, I think these are the underwater hands from the original cast. Yeah, the color on those hands. That's original castings. Incredible. Original, original mold castings, I believe. I like just the paint, even around there, is just so well detailed. And those nails aged, like they're they were probably white at one time. Yeah. So it's just neat to see. Yeah. I would stare at these and hands then, uh, at Frank's and go, "Yeah, this marking. That's one question. It's even, even on there." It's weird that that it's I don't know why, but that marking is on several masks I've seen over the years. Huh. I don't know what what happened or what it's from, or Was if it's it from the molded or from the original movie mold. Wow, this is flipping cool too. Yeah, isn't that crazy? What is this? Christopher Lee. I know who it is, but uh, I mean, it's, it's not Don Post, is it? No, no, this was sculpted by Henry Alvarez. Ah. <clears throat> It was a, a really a major man. That's cool. Major project of his, not project, but um, I met a guy named David Haft. I believe his name is. I speak to him through emails. He's a Hollywood guy from out that way and has incredible pieces. I believe he was telling me that he was the one that commissioned 
um, Henry to do this in the first place. I believe I'd have to look through my emails again, but he had a really nice one too of this. But I mean, you don't see many. Man, look at look at the eyes. The paint, the teeth are incredible. Yeah. In the movie, the blood looks just it looks yes. a lot like that, you know. I mean, like even underneath all of this stuff. Wow. And those teeth were whiter, like that. Yellow, they yellowed. He looks like a cigarette smoker, but it looks better like that. Uh, it's aged. So fucking cool. And Frank's tailor made all this stuff like that. It would just be the head. So Frank had all this this great stuff made, which totally changes a piece. If you know somebody in the clothing business or can sew, take the time and have them go. If you have amazing shit like this, yeah, you turn a mask into a half bust. Or... Oh, it's 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 night and day what you can do with something like that. You know spend a little time and money in the paying someone and that's what you get and this might be one of my new favorite items of yours dude that's just incredible. yeah it's it's over the top incredible that's so neat so lifelike i would look at that at frank's like he'll never sell it to me <laughs> that was one of his prized pieces that he loved because he sure. was such a christopher lee fanatic you sure. know um pretty wild i'm gonna change my battery <laughs> <laughs> Man, dude, this is. Yeah, one of the flippers has got to be adjusted. But man, it's such a cool game, dude. Tough. Once you get used to the, you know, upstairs, downstairs. It's so much fun. This is so cool. <laughs> Basement. There you go. Ah, oh, you fuck. <laughs> I gotta adjust the back leg so it's cocked more up. That's why the ball's going slow. It needs to be adjusted. Basement, trap door. To my knowledge, it's the very first tri-level game. 1982, Gottlieb, wide body. The year I was born. Damn, that's right. I got 10 years on your ass. 42 years old, man. That Dude. Little, that little sticker must have came off of one of the bullseyes. That's so Cool, oh, it's, it's awesome, dude. It's so fucking awesome. The music. Yeah, that, the lighting. I know, the, everything oh, about it. Dude. Uh -huh. Like, I want to go ask my mom and dad for some tokens. Right? Go get some tokens, my boy. This is great. <laughs> this is great. It's so this awesome, dude. This is just great. I just can't wait to get the rest of the basement done. God, I remember gonna be... when I first came down here, and there was nothing down here. And nothing, The floor right? wasn't even this color. I know. It's getting there, though, you know? Uh... Got killer yeah. clowns hiding down here, and I need to get, I need to sell the life size figures. I just, I, I need room. Like, I'm building stuff behind them, and bathroom, and the pool table's back there, and stuff's happening. The tiki bar is being built. But my God, I need to, I need to get my ass in gear. I've been so busy. <laughs> Might as well look at some of this real quick. Just mind blowing, dude. Fun stuff if you're a monster kid. You don't even have to be a monster kid, man. This, this is just wild. <laughs> I hear a cat meowing. I do too. I think I trapped her in my bedroom up there. Meow. It's her own fault for going in there. <laughs> yeah, cool stuff in the trick <laughs> shop, huh? Oh, uh, the snap gum. Oh, the handshakers. Oh, dude, this is so, so cool. I met Tesco V for the first time because we were at an auction, a real auction, and I'm bidding against someone that's bidding against me and all this monster stuff, and it was him. And I didn't recognize him at first. I'm like, he looked like a cool older guy. I'm like, what's up, man? I said hi to him, and it was him. Mm. And like later, we both realized, like, oh, shit, that was you, you know? But we were we both bid this this thing up to $450. Because you, you finding them on the card like this, yeah. the original 1971 Imaginary Ink, like forget it. Are these, these original? These are rare. That's a real one. Without the that's yeah. that's probably sh came out shortly after this did. Awesome. But man, yeah, there's this is this is like taking a look into my brain as a kid. This whole display, like before there was the Spencers. Oh yeah, there was uh, there was trick shops. You know, I gotta dust these shelves, but. Snakes. That's a real Adam store display, like a counter display. Brand new. I scored that on eBay years ago and never seen Whoa. another one. 
Huh. I love this. I have a couple things that would fit in here. Do you? Oh yeah. I'll take them, I'll buy them. So cool though. Pick vomit. I mean, you have four of them. This is yeah. This is just I, like walking into. I'm guessing what like a '60s trick shop. '70s. Hundred percent. '60s, '70s, '80s. That is fucking cool too. Wow. Yeah, more fake blood. I want it to be like the shops I saw as a kid. Man, like this is just like when I'd go into them and I would stare at this stuff. Like, oh my god, I want it all. Yeah. And when I started <laughs> collecting it, I had it in the back of my mind. Like, I want to build a store display. That's why I started buying. Lots like guys would have 10 fake vomits on the card. Yeah, like all right, I'll buy them all. Yeah, and I just wanted to have multiples so it looked like a display. And it, it is like, okay, I'll, I'll have one of those. Oh, you have two left, you know, just right. <laughs> Man, that's I got the bird poops, several of them. And... I'm geeking out, even though I've seen all this stuff. The yeah. cigar is I know. Wow, I want wow. I wanted this to look legit, wow. like, like a real. A real display. So, some of these, like, some of these things can be these these dragons. What could be like sixty bucks? Sure, easily. Wow. Like these, I got multiples of the buggy ice cube cards. Remember all those? Um, That's what makes this so fun is making it a legit store. You know, when my when my sister in law's father died, we had all those like strange thing molds. Let me turn this turn this off. He passed away, and he had all like the. Strange things and the molds and the goops and all that. Oh yeah, the the uh, change, strange change or whatever yeah, it's called. Something I think. Thing it was. and yeah. A coffin cigarette dispenser. It's neat. Like box. look at it though. Open it. I gotta get that cat out of the fucking. Go she's ca caught in my bed. Screaming the whole time. Yeah, it was stuck in my bedroom. <laughs> it's his own fault. <laughs> Then in Frank's, so I'm in Frank's attic in this little house. He had a collection house and then he had a house there he lived is. in. Oh yeah, there it is. Isn't yeah. that neat? That's cool, man. So I'm looking through boxes, right? In Frank's attic. Oh, stop. Get out of here. So I find this, dude. Brand new display, vintage of eyeballs in Frank's. Like, oh my God. His brother's like, what? Like, he's got stuff that will go in the trick shop, you know. He had these flash, flash lights. these lights. Yeah. There's this one. He had them all brand new. They're like a light up, you know. You just carry them around and they light up at night. Yeah. Mid seventies. Probably seventies. I would say it has to be late seventies or something like that. So cool. Man. The, these like this to me in my childhood. It was everything to me. Yeah. That those jointed, I had the, sure. I have the full size ones. Yep. Oh my god, dude! We used to put them all on our windows. And, dude, they made yeah. some really cool, like Glenn Strange Frankenstein ones. Like that. I've been wanting they another go. tattoo bad. I'm like, I should get that something, something like that. I are the ghosts, the three ghosts. Get a tramp stamp. For These are yeah. Back. I'm gonna get a tramp <laughs> stamp of uh, of Freddy Krueger. No, this is uh, these are really old. These are like store stock. These black ones here. You know what I have that would really fit good down here? I have the Shoot a Spook Carnival game, man. Oh, sell. Please sell me that. If you're ever going to sell it. Okay. We could talk. All right. Yeah. All right. I have, I have a bunch of really, like, yes, yes, weird yes. cool things that would really fit in down here. This trick shop thing is, man, I had this in the back of my mind for years. I wanted to build one so bad. Uh, so you had all the shit tucked away in your bedroom for all that in time. In boxes. You needed to display it. Look at that. Cigarette loads on the card. Oh. <laughs> this is cool. Smoker's Fun Shop. We would go to uh, firework stands in Tennessee in the 80s, and they would have these. You know, we'd always buy little tins of those. Those ones you put in the smoke, and it's like the uh, light lady finger type they thing. Go, yeah. People go, what the fuck? Whoa. Those are real. I'll give you. I'll give you some of these for you to leave. Okay. Yeah. I found them in Frank's. He had a, a little stack of original creature 3D glasses. Oh. Remember when um, Svengulia aired it in 80, yeah. 82, maybe in 3D? That's I don't remember. Really I was born then, but I oh mean, yeah, you don't remember that shit. It's just still flipping <laughs> cool, man. I'll give you. I'll give them to you. And now this is original. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's an old. That's for my time. But it was a store display. So they have. Stinky things for cigarettes, um, cigarette yeah. loads. They have trick matches that explode. <laughs> Bang. 
The original itching powder. Yeah, it's, oh, it's man. probably just sawdust you throw it on a girl's back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At school, I used to do shit like that. Oh, there was the a chattering teeth and the monster grass. I tell my daughter stories about me in school as a kid, and she's like horrified about the thing. Oh, this is falling. God damn it. This thing drives me nuts. I have to really fix this. This key ring thing is That's like awesome. That is everything to me because as a kid I was infatuated with little skeleton keychains like that. Aren't those cool? That's a whole display. <laughs> in fact, on my haunted house, I have one that has the key ring right there. Original. You need to get a cash register now, like an old school cash register right here, man. So if it I, is a legitimate trick show. If I had the room, right? I got a dust. It looks terrible. But here's the ink, the ink spot. See the like the spot of ink that spilled out on someone's desk. Really old cigarette load tins. The spilled coke and spilled coke. <laughs> oh, Coca Cola. Oh, that and another co coke. <laughs> I thought. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yes. Magic powder. There's so many little neat Good things in here tea. that you really got to look and, and discover. I have, uh, this is supposed to be one of the very first um, hand buzzers, like when they first made them in the 30s. Here's hand buzzers in the original boxes. Yeah. Probably from the 40s. Um, this is, oh, dude, these candles, like in the 80s, oh my God, or I think early 80s. When the hell were these from? But these were so cool. I dropped one of my hand candles that it would have a skeleton inside of it, like a skeletal hand, mm -hmm. and like drip blood. Oh. It shattered. I wanted to cry. Oh, shit. It, it, they're out there on eBay, but they're pretty pricey. Striptease soap? What the hell? I don't remember this. Unless it's got a naked woman in it. I can't remember. Oh, there's something, and there's probably like a little a woman figure inside of it. And as you wash it, yeah. she takes off her clothes. That's crazy. Oh my god! Isn't that neat? So I tell my daughter stories about me in grade school, and she's just horrified by the things I would do as a boy. Sure. There was a girl I liked so much. Her name was Kim. I won't say her last name because she's on Facebook. And uh, in the back row of desks, this is like third grade, right? I'm like, I'm gonna crawl army style, cross behind everybody, and I'm gonna take a pencil, and I'm gonna stick it like poker with a pencil, like a maniac. And I go like this, not remembering that the pencil was backwards in my hand, it shoved right in the palm of my hand, like, and I yelled, and you know, I don't know if I got in trouble by the teacher. The chick but, stabbed you in your hand with her ass. And my, 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 my daughter's like, what? I'm like, honey, if you knew the half of it. Off people of gum and chick's hairs. Now people are going to comment, he's a misogynist. Oh, <laughs> he's a fucking... <laughs> that was the 80s, I want man. Massage. It was the 80s, bro. Those girls would slap the shit out of us, though. So <laughs> it ain't like we got <laughs> away scot free. Now. Yes, you'd be on CNN. You grabbed a girl's ass. Um, we were crazy kids, you know? And a lot of this stuff brings back so many good memories. <clears throat> no doubt. Hey, is that creature, is that a chalkware one? Yes. You, I have the other two. Yeah, the, yeah. You, my, I have the Wolfman and I have the Frankenstein. My cousin. And the Dracula, I believe. It was a, it was a box set. My cousin painted that one and he had it as a kid. He goes, ah, you should take this for your collection. I have the other couple. No shit. Uh-huh. You, I thought you had, oh, you have a candle box too, or you made candles? I have the candle set, but I have Look at those glasses, three. dude. Yeah. Oh, didn't your dad tell me about the glass? Someone told me about the glasses. My dad got you the glass. And he got them. That's yeah, right. Some buddy of his had them for sale, Mint. and they were in the original packaging. And yeah. my dumb ass threw the cardboard out. They were like sleeves. Yes. So I should. Yeah. I you, fucking, did a, you did an episode on them. I should have saved them. Yeah. Where are you going to put it though? Man? These were all. I know. These are all Frank's little robot guys. Yeah. Well, we're running out of memory on this freaking card, Eric. Well, it's been real, folks. It's yeah. been real cool, as always. The Eric, best. The best. Tell stuff. everybody your Instagram if they want to follow you. Eric Holmquist Drums, uh, Eric Holmquist on Facebook, KansasBand.com for all of our tour dates. Come see us. He really is the drummer for Kansas. Yeah. Uh, I will put all that on the bottom of the screen so they can find you on Instagram. He has monster stuff, so. Good to see him. Yeah. The best. See, I told you. Even though I'm, I was a bad kid. We all were. Yeah, dude. Very fun having you out. And um, 
don't be a stranger. Never. My wayward I'm son. I'm strange. <laughs> oh, please stop singing, Rudy. Yeah, guys, thanks. Just a quick episode because Eric was here. I said, why not shoot a quickie? See you later. Bye bye. No! Yeah, dude. So, real quick, before you leave, yeah. There it is, man. I would look at this. Like, look at that. I'd look at all the detail, like the spine, and just say, man, how much? And I go, seven hundred dollars you know that was like four grand five grand probably it was about two thousand bucks close yeah. to two thousand and eighty seven eighty eight i scored another one of these masks guys that's going to be coming here tuesday night which one is it it's one i do not have this one right here i don't know i i wouldn't mind scoring <laughs> no I, I uh you will see one of these that is not in this room is going to be here this week and it is awesome so stay tuned. Man. Yeah.